good day good people welcome to my youtube channel please subscribe on my youtube channel if you haven't please don't watch my videos without subscribing support to the channel and like all my videos share with your families and friends thank you for the support please press the notification button so that you can be notified whenever i upload the video this is the grade 12 question paper um now it says two resistors each two ohms are connected in parallel to a six volt battery with a negligible internal resistance in circuit one this is circuit one and this is circuit two now it says are two switches connected in the circuit as shown below so we have two switches s1 and s2 and have two resistors they are connected in parallel and then we have a battery that has no internal resistance negligible internal resistance and we have an ammeter there now guys following the current here the current will move in this side and then it will go straight to that ammeter which is that ammeter reads the total current and then it will split there and split there of course those switches if are closed so it will continue there so our parallel our circuit is only parallel with those two resistance there right now 8.1 the question it says what is the reading on v on the voltmeter in circuit one when s1 and s2 are both open so if these two switches are both open that means that there will be no current that will pass through here no current that will pass through here because um, these switch are open so now the reading on a voltmeter in this voltmeter it will be reading the emf so this reading it will be the reading of an emf all right so the answer here it will be what six volts all right in 8.2 8.2 it says what switch one and switch to close in second one and determine the reading of an ammeter remember guys i told you this ammeter it reads the total what the total current this ammeter and the effective resistance are these two when the switch both switch are closed so in calculating that in 8.2 this is how we're going to calculate that so since they are parallel we'll say rp is equal to r1 times r2 divided by r1 plus plus r2 which is going to be 2 times 2 divided by 2 plus 2 that will be 4 divided by 4 which is 1 ohms so the effective resistance in parallel here the answer here it's 1 ohm in 8.2 no no, no no that's not the final answer guys that's the resistance only we have to continue so now that we have the total resistance of the circuit this rp is equal to the total resistance of the circuit now that we have the total resistance and we have the total voltage we can have the total current we'll say total current is equal to v total divided by r total remember guys you use the totals to get the other total we're looking for the total current we'll use the total resistance and the total voltage what is our total voltage it's six and six divided by the total resistance here it's one it's going to be what six mps that's the current the guys let's move to circuit number two Circuit number two, if you see here, it says circuit two below is identical to circuit one. How is it identical? We have two resistors in parallel. The EMF is six, but, and we have the switches there, switch one and S2 and an ammeter there. But the difference now, it says, but the 6V battery has an internal resistance. There's an internal resistance there. And that internal resistance, guys, we are not given. We have to calculate it. Now, now 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 same thing current it goes the same way it moves this here it's total and then it passes it passes there in the 
in the ammeter, which is this ammeter reads the total current and then it splits there and it passes there again. Guys, you can ask yourself why the current does not go through the voltmeter because the voltmeter guys has a high resistance and when i say high it's an understatement it has an extremely high resistance now guys let's read the statement circuit 2 is identical to that but the difference is the as 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 the internal resistance inside the battery that means that this emf now it drops now when 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 only s1 is closed in the circuit 1 let's look at circuit 1 when only S1 is closed, they said it's only S1 is closed there. So if it's only S1 that is closed there, let's look at what is happening in the circuit. Before we continue the statement, the current will go this way and it reads the total and it would only go there. So it won't go this side because this, um, this switch is open here. So now it says now when only S1 is closed in second one we have seen what is happening there the only effective resistor is going to be here it's going to be two and two is the total resistance here and it's connected in series it will be just two right so it says now its ammeter reading will be the same as an ammeter reading in second two one boat both switches are closed so the ammeter reading here when is this one only closed and this one is ineffective and this one is effective this ammeter reading will be the same as this ammeter reading when these two are closed right so in order to get the ammeter reading of this we have to calculate the ammeter reading of that because they say this is the same with this when these two are closed and when this one is is closed as well okay um, now, the question in 8.3, it says calculate the internal resistance of the battery. So, how are we going to calculate the internal resistance of this battery? We want this. When we talk about the internal resistance, guys, for those who do not know, it's that resistance inside the battery. So, how are we going to do that? 8.3, we need to first get this total current we are told is the same as that one okay so here we have the v total the v total here we have the this is the r total because the only resistance is going to be that so to get that current the i total is going to be v total over r total which is six divided by what by two which is which is going to be three amperes so the total current here it's what it's three amperes we get it from this circuit now now we have the total current let's go to the equation of the emf it says emf is equal to current bracket um, external resistance plus the internal resistance now we are looking for this guy we the external resistance here we have it's what it's going to be these two and these two are parallel we calculated above when these two are parallel the resistance it's going to be one so we have this and the current we have it's three and the emf we have is six so we can get the internal resistance by that okay let's do it so it's going to be six equal to um, the current it's it's three and the internal resistance is going to be one this one plus the external resistance uh, sorry the external resistance it's going to be these and the internal resistance is the one that we want and then we divide by three so it's going to be two um, these two they cancel is going to be one plus r therefore it's r is going to be two minus one is going to be one ohm so the internal resistance is one we're down with 8.3 let's go to 8.4 8.4 it says um it's not a calculation now we need to justify and explain it says consider circuit two how does the voltmeter reading when both s1 and s2 are closed compared to s1 uh, it's closed so we're comparing the voltmeter reading here 
which is the voltmeter reading here it's the v external so they're asking about the v external how does the v external of this circuit when these two are closed compared to only s1 is closed guys when s when 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 both are closed the total resistance these are the things that you need to ask yourself before in 8.4 ask yourself what's happening to the total resistance um, and then next what's happening to the total current and then you can conclude about the v internal what's happening to the v internal and then lastly it's the v external right the answer is here so guys ask yourself when these two are closed what's happening to the total resistance right what's happening to the total resistance the total resistance when these two are closed it's going to be one right but when this s1 is only s1 is closed the total resistance will be two so the total resistance of circuit two when s1 and s2 are closed it's going to what decrease because it's going to be one with these two and then if the total resistance decreases the total current increases because these two they are what they are inversely proportional the current is inversely proportional to the resistance and then if the current increases the v internal will increase as well because these two they are what they are directly proportional the current and the v internal are directly proportional right so if the current if the v internal sorry increases the v external has to decrease to maintain to maintain the same emf so the answer here it's going to be what smaller than since it's decreased here it's going to be what smaller smaller than now guys um from that formula that says emf is equal to v external plus v internal um, since the current increases um, the v internal has to increase and the v external needs to decrease because this one increased to maintain the emf and and the r internal the same right now it says explain your answer guys the explanation of my answer is this is this is this is it's this since the r total decreases you write it in words but i'm going to write it in letters you don't have to write it in symbols since the r total decreases the the total current of the circuit will increase so if the total circuit of the the total um if the total current of the circuit increases the v internal will increase as well while the emf and the internal resistance remain the same remains the same that's how you write it you need to write it in full words and that's